Hello. We now know what a derivative is and how to calculate one using the first principal definition of the derivative. However, when trying to use that method, we discovered it's very tedious to uh, calculate even the simplest functions. For that reason, in throughout this chapter, we are going to focus on learning new methods that will uh, only help us uh, determine derivatives in a much more efficient way. Let's actually have a look at the first set of rules in order to find the derivative of a polynomial function. So the first rule is constant rule. For a function f of x, that's equal to just a constant. Well, obviously, this function is not uh, having any rate of change. Therefore, its derivative is going to be zero. It's a function that's represented by a horizontal line. It's never increasing or decreasing on its domain. A very important rule is this power rule. So a function f of x equals to x at power n, where n is a positive integer. The derivative of such function is going to be n times x at power n minus 1. You can uh, verify this formula, and as a matter of fact, all of them, all these rules, you can verify them by using the first principle definition of the derivative. Now, a constant multiple rule for a function f of x that's equal to uh, c, a constant, times uh, g of x. Well, the derivative for such a function is going to be just uh, keeping the c, the constant, as a factor and derivating the expression g of x uh, using any other rule uh, that apply. But that, uh, what is important about this rule is that this uh, constant multiple is not really affecting our derivative. That uh, constant, uh, we keep it separate as a factor in front of the function. The sum rule, a very important and a very simple yet very important rule again. So for a function h of x that is equal to the sum of uh, two uh, differentiable functions f of x and g of x is going to be nothing else than the sum of the derivatives of those functions. The same applies for a difference. So the difference rule states that a function h of x, which is equal to uh, the difference between two differentiable functions f of x and g of x, its derivative is going to be equal to the difference of the derivatives of those two functions. Of course, it applies for any number of uh, functions. You may notice also that uh, we have uh, used two notations. Lagrange notation, it's uh, rather simpler to write, but the Leibniz notation is preferred by mathematicians and in uh, more advanced courses you're going to encounter Leibniz notation exclusively. For now, I, I will leave it at your discretion to use either one of these notations. So I'm going to conclude this lesson here and I hope to see you in the next lesson where we continue with more rules.